hi, hi. Welcome to School of Prophetic Fire. And I'm Ann Finkelman, founder and president. And today we're going to talk about beautiful, beautiful things of God. And I'm so delighted that you took time out of your busy day to be with us. Let's see, where should we begin? Oh, a lot of you are looking for us on Facebook, so you can find us um, at Ann Finkelman, or you can find us at School of Prophetic Fire, or you can find us on um, Shoshana Rose Radio Program, and our new book that will be coming out in a few months, beloved, uh, hopefully by the end of 2018, will bless you, bless your heart. It's a daily devotional designed to draw you into the inner chambers of his spirit of God's spirit, intimacy with God. Have you ever wanted to be closer to God? We're going to talk about that today. And my first book that God has given me to write, that's this daily devotional, will do just that. That'll be your moment with God, intimacy with him on a daily level. What a beautiful, beautiful way to begin your day, beloved of God. So I look forward to hearing from you. Without further ado, let's get going on the word of God. At School of Prophetic Fire, God has instructed me to... Uh, Pour out the word of his spirit and not charge anything. Of course, a free will offering. If you want to sow something, you can go to our PayPal page, Safe Giving, and sow a financial seed, and that will bless many, many, many others around the world. Help us do what we're doing for the kingdom, and you will be blessed, beloved of God. This school is free of charge. It is a prophetic school teaching the unadulterated word of God, pure truth in the righteousness of God, and it's free around the world to the nations, to whoever will take the time and listen to thus say it the Lord. And so I appreciate again your time. So we're going to talk about Psalm 63 today. This morning, upon awakening, there was a stillness in the room. You know that stillness we're talking about? You know, when there's, there's a sound of silence. And when we have a stillness before God, he speaks to us, beloved of God. And so we're going to talk about that today. Are you struggling in your life? Do you need healing in your life? Are you uh, exhausted from the fight? Are you uh, believing God for your children? Are you believing God for more finances in your life? Are you believing God for good quality friends? Are you believing God for ministry doors to open? Are you believing God for a spouse, beloved, a husband or a wife, a godly man or woman of God? Well, we're going to talk today about how to get closer to God, because the closer we are with God, remember, time with him brings miracles. So let's talk about it. Psalm 63, a Psalm of David when he was in the wilderness of Judah. Do you feel like you're in the wilderness? Do you feel like, Lord, when is this ever going to happen? Lord, remember me, your servant. Well, David felt like that, beloved of God. And we're going to talk about God responding to him. O oh God, thou art my God. Verse 1, early will I seek thee. My soul thirsts for thee. My flesh longs for thee in a dry and thirsty land where no water is. Have you ever felt like that? Oh my goodness, where you're alone and, and, and you think, oh gosh, who's to help me? I've tried everything. I've waited and waited. I've done everything that I thought God would want me to do. But still no answer well beloved of god maybe just maybe god wants us to get closer to him maybe just maybe he wants us to lift our hands to him to see thy power god and thy glory so as i have seen thee in the sanctuary because thou thy loving kindness is better than life my lips shall praise thee so we have seen God in the sanctuary. Sometimes we go to church and, and we praise God and we worship God but, and everything's wonderful. But as soon as we get out the door, that cloud of heaviness tries to come upon us. As soon as we get in our car, as soon as we get home, sometimes, you know, the, the burdens of life face us and we think, oh God, I saw you in the sanctuary. You promised me my word. You promised me. I know you're going to do it, Lord. Lift this burden off of me. Well, maybe, just maybe, lifting our hands to the Lord and praising him is the answer, beloved of God. Verse 4, Psalm 63. Thus will I bless thee while I live. I will lift up my hands in thy name. Oh, God, lifting up holy hands to God. 
lifting up our hands to God. Lord, we worship you. We praise you, Lord. We thank you for this beautiful day. I love you, Lord. I thank you for another day to serve you. I thank you that you've promised me your word, and I know that you will keep your word to me. And say to God, I know, now unto him, Ephesians 3.20, now unto him who is able to do exceedingly abundantly above all we can ask or think according to the power that works within us, beloved of God. God is able. The Lord won't, and Jesus, he will never fail you nor forsake you. He has promised, I will never, 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 never fail you nor forsake you, says the Lord. And so let's read this, Psalm 63. Verse 5, my soul shall be satisfied as with marrow and fatness, and my mouth shall praise thee with joyful lips. When I, medit when I remember thee upon my bed and meditate on thee in the night watches, because thou hast been my help, therefore in the shadow of thy wings will I rejoice. My soul follows hard after thee, O God. Thy right hand upholds me. O God, believe God today, beloved of God. Say to him, Lord, I worship you. Won't you lift up holy hands even as you're watching this, beloved? The Lord is with you. He is manifesting himself to you. He loves you with an everlasting love, and therefore with loving kindness has he drawn you unto himself. Jeremiah chapter 33, 31 verse 3. He loves us with an everlasting love. And you know, those of you that are watching this video, you have a love for the things of God. You have a love for intimacy with God. For Shoshana Ministries International, School of Prophetic Fire, Shoshana Rose Radio Program are all designed to draw you closer to God, to proclaim who he is, to proclaim the, the mysteries of God to you, his beloved people. And if you don't know him today, we're going to give you an opportunity before the close of the uh, school, this broadcast, we're going to give you an opportunity to uh, accept him and he'll give you purpose in your life. He'll love you as you need to be loved, beloved of God. I wanted to uh, give you a quote from a Jewish leader named Hillel, H-I-L-L-E-L. -L -L. If I am not for myself, who is for me? Now we have to believe that God has promised us. He has promised that we can do all things through Christ who strengthens us, Philippians 4.13. I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. Say that with me, beloved of God. I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. Do you believe that? The word of God is true. If I am not for myself, who is for me? And being for myself, what am I? Why are we here on the earth? Why has God placed us here? He has placed his spirit within us, precious heart. If not now, then when? So, if not now, when? Have you been waiting and waiting and waiting and waiting? And the answer just doesn't seem to come. Have faith, beloved of God. Hebrews 11:6. without faith it is impossible to please God. But he that comes to God must believe that he is. You believe today? He that comes to God must believe that he is. And he is a rewarder of them that diligently seek him. Are you seeking him today? Of course you are. Are you believing him like Abraham of old? If you be Christ, Galatians 3.29, then are you Abraham's seed and heirs according to the promise. Now listen, lift up your hands to God. He is waiting. Dance before him. Make a joyful sound, beloved. We're gonna look at Psalm 150. And we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna find out today what may be the holdup of God answering our prayer. You know, sometimes He wants us to do something. I have found when when God is quiet in my life, He's watching me. You know, He He doesn't leave us. He doesn't He de never forsakes us. But sometimes He's quiet, and I usually say, God, what is it? Please show me what it is. Please show me. And you know what? The answer always comes every single time. So let's read Psalm 150. Maybe it's we need to worship God. Maybe we need to lift up our hands. Well, God, Jesus said, I am seeking those to worship me in spirit and in truth. Yes, he loves us. He is our father. We are his children. Psalm 150. How beautiful is this? 
Let's go one, one, Psalm 149, verse 5. Let the saints be joyful in glory. Let them sing upon, aloud upon their beds. Oh my gosh. When was the last time we sat on our beds and praised God? When was the last time we sat on our beds and lifted our hands to God and say, we worship you, God. We praise you. I love you. I magnify you for who you are. Not to ask him for anything, just to praise him, beloved. Just to praise God because we love him. He loves that. Psalm 150, verse 1. Praise ye the Lord. Praise God in his sanctuary. Praise him in the firmament of his power. Praise him for his mighty acts. Praise him according to his excellent greatness. Praise him with the sound of the trumpet. Praise him with the psaltery and the harp. Praise him with the timbrel, that's the timbrel, that's the tambourine, and the dance. Praise him with the stringed instruments and organs. Praise him upon the loud cymbals. Praise him upon the high sounding cymbals. Let everything that has breath, verse 6 says, Psalm 150, praise ye the Lord. Oh my, I love to praise God. You know, beloved, as we praise God, he manifests himself to us. We have a sense, that we sense a closeness of his spirit. So won't you take a moment? Are you downtrodden? Be encouraged, beloved of God. This is the season that God has promised to answer you. You are not watching this. You are watching this program not by accident. There are no coincidences with God. There are no... Uh, mishaps with God. He is God of precision. He is a God of, of, of excellence. And he, had, he is mindful of his covenant with you. So I want to say to you today, praise ye the Lord. I will lift up my hands in thy holy, in thy holy habitation. Fear not, says God. Stand still and you shall see the salvation of God. This day will he deliver your enemy into your hands. So what do you believe in God? Husband or wife, I decree and declare that husband or wife is coming to you. Are you believing that you will know him or know her without making a mistake? I decree and declare and agree with you that you will not make a mistake and you will know him when you see him and you will know her when you see her. And you know what? God has promised everything that we are believing God for is in this word, beloved of God. None shall lack her mate. Do you have a husband or a wife that is not really uh, treating you the way they should? Believe God. I decree and declare that your husband will treat you as the queen that you are. And I decree and declare that your wife will treat you as the king that you are. And I decree and declare that your marriage is healed and restored in the mighty name of Jesus. Remember, you have children that have run away you have children that are wayward, that maybe are not serving God. Listen, beloved of God. The Bible says in Isaiah 54, verse 13, In righteousness shall you be established. You shall be far from oppression. All your children shall be taught of the Lord, and great shall be the peace of thy children. God has promised it. He's promised the, in the book of Acts, he's chapter 2, the promises to you and your children, and whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord. You know what? God's promises are real. They are true. And we are in a season where God is pouring out his glory upon you. Don't be afraid. Fear not, says God, for I am with you. Be not afraid, for I am thy God. I will help you. I will strengthen you. I will uphold you with the right hand of my righteousness. Remember, God is for you. If God be for you, no one could be against you. Let me read to you Psalm 121, which is coming up in my spirit. So we're going to share that just a little bit to encourage your heart, beloved of God. Psalm 20, 121. I will lift up mine eyes unto the hills from whence my help cometh. My help comes from the Lord, which made heaven and earth. He will not allow your foot to be moved. Hallelujah. He that keeps thee will not sleep or slumber. He that keeps Israel shall neither slumber nor sleep. The Lord is your keeper. The Lord is your shade upon your right hand. The sun shall not smite thee by day nor the moon by night. The Lord preserve thee from all evil. 
He shall preserve thy soul. The Lord shall preserve your going out and your coming in from this time forth, even forevermore. You know, God has promised to be a shield to you. Have you been the, uh, the target of, of gossip? The word of God says, the name of the Lord is a strong tower, Psalm 18. The righteous run into it and they are safe. He shall cover me with his feathers, Psalm 91, and under his wings shall I trust. His truth shall be my shield and buckler. So boy, I'm telling you, the word of the Lord is true. So remember today, worship God. Sit on your bed, beloved of God, for he gives his beloved sweet sleep. And worship God, early will I seek thee. Psalm 27, verse 8. When you said, Lord, seek ye my face to me, my heart said unto you, thy face, Lord, will I seek. The face of Jesus. So many people are lonely, beloved of God. So many people are hurting. So many people are looking for someone to fulfill them. Jesus fulfills us, Yeshua, Messiah of Israel. He fulfills us. Once we, we, we look upon that beautiful face, all the cares leave this world. I want to sing a song for you. I'm not really given to, to song, but when I sing to God, the angels take it and they make it a joyful, sweet melody to God. And I'd like to sing to you today a song about the face of Jesus. Many of you may already know this song, but I'm going to sing it to you. Is that okay? Turn your eyes upon Jesus. <clears throat> Look full in his wonderful face. And the things of this earth will grow strangely dim in the light of his glory and grace singing i love you lord singing i love you lord singing i love you lord I Turning our face to Jesus, the cares of this world grow strangely dim when we look upon that beautiful face. Psalm 27, 8, once again. When you said unto me, Lord, when you said unto my heart, seek ye my face, my heart said unto you, thy face, Lord, will I seek. Wow, 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 wow. I want to go back to Psalm 63, where God is looking for a people that worship him in spirit and in truth. Verse 1, O God, thou art my God, early will I seek thee. My soul thirsts for thee, my flesh longs for thee in a dry and thirsty land where no water is, to see your power and your glory, so I have seen in the sanctuary, because your lips, your loving kindness is better than life. My lips shall praise thee, O oh my God. Thus will I bless you while I live. I will lift up my hands in your name. Thy loving kindness is better than life thy loving kindness is better than life thy lips shall praise thee thus will i bless thee i will lift up my hand to thy name i lift my hands up 
unto thy name, Lord. I lift my hands up unto thy name, Lord. Won't you join me? Thy lips shall praise thee, thus will I bless thee. I will lift up my hands to thy name. Something about the presence of God, beloved. Once we get in his presence, we know that we know that we know. All fear is gone. We know that we know that we know. The spouse we're desiring from God. Are you desiring a spouse, beloved of God? You know that they're on their way. The finances we need, you know God is faithful. You know that joy is knocking at the door of, door of your heart. Cast your burden upon the Lord, beloved, Psalm 55, 22, and he shall sustain you. He will never allow the righteous to be moved. Are you believing God for your child? You raise that child in the ways of God, and suddenly they become the prodigal daughter or the prodigal son. I hear the Lord say, they're coming home, they're coming home, they're coming home. They're tied in the pig's pen. They're coming home, says the Lord. Take that, take that, take that and say, yes, Lord, yes, Lord, yes, Lord. Have you been in the ministry? Has the ministry been, been waning? Has it, have doors not open? I believe God with you to open up a, a, a door of opportunity, a door of favor, a door of tremendous tremendous uh, opportunity for you, beloved of God, to preach the gospel, make sure that, 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 a, that a heart, you have to check on motive, make sure the motive is good, to preach the gospel, to proclaim who he is. So lifting our hands to God, worshiping God, praising him, and we'll close with this. Before we close, beloved of God, I want to lead you in a prayer of salvation. I just, I just felt the Spirit of God impress me. If you've never made Yeshua, Jesus, the Lord of your life, he is the Messiah of Israel. If you've never made him the Lord of your life, repeat after me. Oh God, I don't know you. I have sinned against you. Forgive me, Lord God. I ask that you cleanse me with your blood. I believe that you are the Son of God. I believe that you went to the cross and died for me. Come and live in my heart. Come and live in my life. And give me purpose, Lord God. Forgive me of all my sins. I am now your child. And I rejoice in that. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. If you prayed that, beloved of God, find a God-fearing church. Go to your local Bible bookstore. Buy yourself a Bible. Ask the beautiful people there where there's a full gospel uh, on fire for God church where you can get plugged in go to the pastor over there and say I just got born again I just received the Lord can you help me I agree with you that your steps are ordered of God beloved of God and you know if you're a prodigal if you've left God this program goes around the world by the hand of God come back to God Say, God, I'm sorry that I've left you. I'm sorry that I left the Father's house, for you are waiting for me to come home. Today's my day to come home. I love you, Lord. Thank you for your grace. Thank you. I repent that I've sinned against you. I've hurt people. I'm so sorry. Cleanse me by your blood. Receive me. In Jesus' name, give me purpose for my life. Amen and amen. So remember, beloved of God, O oh God, thou art my God, Psalm 63, verse 1. My soul, I thirst for thee. My flesh longs for thee in a dry and thirsty land where no water is. Oh my God, my God, I love you so much. Thank you so much for tuning in to School of Prophetic Fire. I hope you enjoyed this program. I know it enriched your spirit. And take time every day upon awakening. Or if you plan, you, you want to do that before you go to sleep at night. You want to worship God. It's your choosing. There's no bondage here. 
where the spirit of the Lord is, there is liberty. All day long, lift your hands to God. I will lift my hands. Last verse 4. I will bless thee while I live. I will lift up my hands in thy name. Remember, time with him, with the Lord, time with God, the spirit of the living God, brings miracles. And I agree with you for a miracle of God. In the name of Jesus, amen and amen. This is Ann Finkelman. This is School of Prophetic Fire. We'll be doing more and more videos, so uh, subscribe to our Facebook channel. Subscribe to our YouTube channel, Shoshana, S-H-O-W-S-H-A-N-N-A-H, Ministries International on YouTube. And you will be notified every time we upload a new video for your enrichment. You do matter. You are loved. You are appreciated. You are treasured, says the Lord. This is Ann Finkelman. Find us on Facebook. We release prophetic words almost on a daily basis at the hand of God. And we loved for you to be our friend. We love you more and more. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.